Let's go for. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. I can handle myself. Oh, I know you can. But let's save that for later. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right. Break. Get up. Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? A dude is a genius. I don't care what anybody says. I like the Joker. That's the way the cookie crumbles. What do I keep of this? Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry, sorry. It's, it's just me. You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. Lewis. That wasn't me. I, I, I'm Sane Lewis, and, and that was. Possess. Okay. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a, as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy, but he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? What's that? Thing Lewis. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. 
No, don't worry. I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. This old guy is. We gotta talk to him. Arnold Wessler. Hello. Hello? No way. Arnold. Busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are nasty. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Oh, the big guy. Oh, shit. Sky. Just let him be. What do you want? So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I free from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. <laughs> what do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me. I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. All right, well, shit. This key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? I don't know if I'm supposed to give him the key or what. I don't know. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local SkyTrain depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one, this one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Double-crossing <laughs> two-faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like... You need better friends. 
Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorists. I'm going to find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Ah, oh, oh, my God. Won't someone save my baby? This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops hadn't dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. After everything Oswald has done to me, yeah, I'm kind of glad it happened, because he deserved it. <laughs> Am I glad to see you embracing those feelings? They're very natural. Especially a guy like you, who clearly takes after his father. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? said he killed the Vales. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Oh. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. I'm not like her. I don't need vengeance. Really? Sounds to me like you've got more in common than you're willing to admit, Bruce. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? I'm not doing any favors for you, John. And here I thought we were getting along so well. We can keep working on our friendship when we meet again, can't we? All right, tell you what, I'm going to make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. 
you make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Damn. No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. The skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Damn. Damn. GCPD. Gordon, it's Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here. And I'm willing to testify. Huh, this might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce. I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite a show. Oh. That dude is manipulative and he is good. He is good.